Hello, everyone, and welcome back. We made it to 30K. Thank you all so much for your continued support of this channel. And this was by far the best birthday present a girl could have. I really appreciate you all. Now back to the regular scheduled program. If you enjoy commentary without all the fluff, that's straight to the point. Join our family. I'd love to have you. Late last night, a report came out about our beloved on Viv, also known as Janet Hubert, from the long ago series, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, starring no other than Will Smith, that she has been hospitalized. The reason behind the hospitalization has yet to be released. However, a fan page posted the following comment, which reads, don't waste precious time, people, in anger. Yes, people do you wrong, and you must fight for the truth no matter how long. And if you can, get the truth you seek. Find love again as we have. Life is too short as I'm in the hospital as I write this to you all. Holding on to anger will eat you alive. But truth at any cost, reputation is priceless. I love you, Will, for being strong enough to tell truth and share your hurts and trauma. Now we close the door and live our lives. Peace out. If you recall, there has been an ongoing battle between her and Will Smith following her being fired from the show and being replaced by a light-skinned Aunt Viv until recently when there was a reunion and Will Smith hosted hers separate from the group where the two had this exchange. Take a look. I was... Uh... 21 years old. Yeah. You know? I know. Um, I know. Everything was a threat to me. Why was I a threat? Not you, the world. I was so driven by fear and jokes and comedy yeah. and all of that. Yeah, you were. Was how you were live. You yeah. Were live. <laughs> you were live. You know. But what you didn't realize either that I was going through a lot at home. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. words can kill. Mm hmm. I lost everything, reputation, everything, everything. And I understand you were able to move forward, but you know those words, calling a black woman difficult mm -hmm. in Hollywood is the kiss of death. Mm -hmm. It's the kiss of death, and it's hard enough being a dark-skinned black woman mm -hmm. in this business. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it is um, so, um, first of all, thank you for... Uh, sharing that with me like I didn't know that when I look back now it's you know it's obvious that you were having a hard time and I felt like you hated me I I could not do a 30-year celebration of this show and not celebrate you. Celebrate your contribution to this show, celebrate your contribution to my life, you know, and... I mean you. <laughs> Let's lift her up in prayer that she recovers quickly. Also, let this serve as a reminder that when you hate someone for whatever wrong they have done to you, you're the one that suffers and not them. They move on, live their lives as if nothing happened because in their mind, nothing did, which is unfair, yes. But when was there a promise made that life would be fair? Never waste your time hoping and wishing for people to change, bend to your will, or fight to manipulate situations outside of your control. Those efforts will put you in the hospital or in an early grave. And as Mrs. Hubert says, life is too short, literally. If you haven't already, remember to like the video as it helps to grow our channel. Subscribe and don't forget to turn on your notification bell and please watch when notified. It really helps our channel. Finally, stay tuned for more and I will catch you in the next one. Take care of yourself first, and then take care of those around you that you love.